Hi, my name is Carlos, and in this video, I will show you how to change your domain name in Google Workspace and keep your old domain name to continue receiving emails in both the new domain name and also the old one. Why you will want to do this? Well, imagine your business is changing name and you are also changing your domain name as part of this change. I mean, for your website and also for your email addresses. Of course, you will want to make a smooth transition and without creating an interruption of your email flow. Google Workspace has the mechanisms to make this type of change easily and with no interruption. Here are the general steps to make this change. By the way, not all these steps are actually necessary. It will depend on every specific case and how you, as the administrator, want to handle it. First, you will need to purchase a new domain name. During this demo, I will assume that you have already purchased it and have access to add and edit the DNS record for your new domain name. Second, add the new domain name within Google Workspace Admin Center. You will need to have the super admin role assigned to your account. Third, you will need to verify your domain name ownership by adding a TXT record within the Google Admin Center. Then you will need to update your domain's MX record for the new domain name. Switch to the new primary domain. Rename users and groups. Make your old domain name aliases for your users. And finally, remove your old domain name if that is what you want. Let's now access our computer and see how to get this done. To start, we need to purchase or get a new domain name. Our Google account, where we are going to be working today, has a as a domain name ask itb.xyz. We already purchased a new domain name, which is a-domain.xyz. So we are ready to make the change of our domain name. We are now ready to access our admin panel. We need to click on the upper right corner when we have the nine little dots, and we will need to find and click on the admin icon. It will take us to the admin panel. Once we have accessed our Google Admin Panel, we need to find for a section called Domains. And we need to click on Manage Domains. We will find here the different domain names that are already part of our Google Workspace account. We can find here the primary domain name, which is askitb.xyz. And we have already added two domain names, itb.cloud and itb.xyz. Those are secondary domain names. We will also find this domain, askitb.xyz.test-google-a.com. This is a domain name that is always added by Google as a default domain name. In any case, we are going to focus our attention on this domain name, askitb.xyz, because this is the one that we are going to replace. We are going to change it to a-domain.xyz. So the next step is to add the domain name. Then we need to click here, add domain. Now in this section is where we need to type our new domain name. Once we have entered our new domain name, we need to decide if we are going to add it as a secondary domain or as a user alias domain. We will find here on every section the description of what a secondary domain name is and also what a user alias domain is. We are getting here a hint that will tell us what to select. It says here, if you may need this domain to become a primary domain in the future, select secondary domain instead. So we want the new domain name to become a primary domain name. So we need to select this one, secondary domain. Once we add the new domain name as a secondary domain name, we will be able to create users or email addresses under the primary domain name and also under the secondary domain name. Now we need to click here on Add Domain and Start Verification. At this stage, Google has found that our new domain name is managed by Cloudflare. Cloudflare is a DNS manager provider, and we have added our new domain name within Cloudflare. Google is giving us the option to sign in directly into Cloudflare. 
and do the verification for us. However, in order to show you how to do this with other DNS provider, then we click on generic instructions. We get this message here. Before you can start using Google Workspace, we need to do a quick check to make sure you own the domain, a-domain.xyz. Then we need to click on continue. Google says, let's add your verification code. This code is a TXT record that we need to add within our domain's DNSs. This record here is the TXT record that we need to add. We will copy this TXT record by clicking here, and we are now switching to our Cloudflare admin panel. We have Cloudflare already open in a new tab. This is my Cloudflare admin panel, where I have different domain names. And here we will find the domain name that we want to add to Google Workspace, add-domain.xyz. We select the domain name, then we need to click on DNS. Within DNS, we select records. So here is where we can add the TXT record for our domain a-domainxyz. All domain admin panels look very similar. You will find a section where you can add different DNS records. In our case, we are going to add a new TXT record. We need to click on Add Record, and we need to select the type of record. We scroll down and we select TXT. In the field name, we just need to type at sign. You can also type the domain name. And here under content, we're going to paste the value of the TXT record. Now we need to save the record and click on Save. Our TXT record has been added to our DNSs. We may need to wait a little bit for propagation. We are now back in the verification step. Then we need to scroll down. And then we need to click here, verify my domain. At this point, we just need to wait. Google is trying to verify if the TXT record has been added. Google has now verified our new domain name. We can see it here, a-domain.xyz as a secondary domain and is verified. The next step is the activation of the email service with our new domain name. It is done by updating or adding the new MX record for our domain name. To follow the process, we need to click on Activate Gmail. We can set up the MX record right now, which is what we are going to do. Or if you want, you can skip this process to make it later. Then we click on Next. Since the MX record is also a DNS record, we will need to sign in again into Cloudflare. We can do it directly here, or we can select Generic Instructions. In order to show you all the steps, I will click on Generic Instructions. Google is now asking if I have already added all the email addresses that will work with the domain a-domainxyz. And it is also asking if I'm ready to receive emails for this domain name, a domain XYZ. I will select these two options and then click on continue. We will find here the instructions of what we need to do. We will skip this and I will tell you what we will need to do in detail. Here I find the MX record that we need to add to our domain name. This is going to be the first MX record with priority one. And then we need to add four other MX records with priority 5, 5, 10, and 10. So I'm going to copy this value, which is the first MX record, and I'm going to Cloudflare. Within Cloudflare, I'm going to add a new record. I'm going to select MX record. Here I will type at or the domain name. And here I'm going to copy the first MX record. Then here on this field, I will enter the priority, which is one. Then I click on save. We have added our first MX record. I'm going back to Google Workspace and I'm going to copy the second MX record, priority five. Go to Cloudflare, add a record, select MX record, add. We paste the value of the MX record, priority five, and click on save. 
and going back to Google Workspace and then add a new record. Priority 10 and save. And then I will repeat the process for all the MX records. I need to make a correction here. I enter a 10 for this MX record. It is actually five. So I click in edit and then change the number to five and save it again. All our MX record has been added. Then we need to go back to Google Workspace. Here, the next step is click on activate Gmail. Google is now verifying that all our MX record has been added. And we can see here, our domain name has been verified and Gmail is activated. Now we are ready to change the primary domain name. In other words, we're going to make a domain.xyz the new primary domain and askitb.xyz is going to become a secondary domain. So we need to click on here, change primary domain. Google is giving us important information. It says, Changing your primary domain is a complex task with multiple steps. It is recommended only in some cases. For example, if your business rebrands, we will click here to quickly review the steps that we need to follow. We could start reviewing the requirements. You cannot change your primary domain if you purchase your domain when you sign for Google Workspace. You are still in a free trial period. Your domain is unverified. You purchase Google Workspace through your Google domains. You are a Google Workspace or Google Cloud reseller. You have a G Suite legacy free edition and you have Google Meet hardware devices. None of those is our case. Then we have here a recap of what we need to do. You add a new domain name to the Google Workspace console. Then you update the email addresses of your users and groups to your users new primary domain. If we scroll down, we will see the steps. Prepare for the switch, add your new domain and set up email. We already complete the step one and two, and then we are within the step three, switch the primary domain. Then we will need to switch users and groups to your new domain. The following step is optional, where you can remove your old primary domain. In our case, we are not going to do that. We want to continue using the old primary domain. And finally, you have to update your Google Workspace settings. Like for example, your billing information, domain aliases, marketplace apps, logos, and custom URLs. Let's go back to our Google Workspace panel, and then we will click on continue. Keep in mind, it can take up to 48 hours for the primary domain name to take effect. If you want users to sign in with the new primary domain name, you will need to update their primary emails to this new domain. Then we need to select the new primary domain. We click here and we will have different options, the different domain names that we have already added to our Google Workspace account. In our case, the new primary domain is going to be a-domain.xyz. Once we have selected the new primary domain, we click on change primary domain. Primary domain is changed to a-domain.xyz. Then we have some information about what's next. It can take 48 hours for the new primary domain to take effect. Your old primary domain automatically becomes a secondary domain. What you can do next is change user email addresses to the new domain. After changing users' email addresses, users will need to sign in with the new domain name. As we can see here, the new primary domain is now a-domain.xyz. Let's now rename some users' email addresses. We scroll up and click on Home. Then within the section Users, we need to click on Manage. Here we have all the users within our Google Workspace account. We're going to select any user. We're going to select this one, Alex Test. And we will find the option Update User. We click here. And now we're going to update the email address for this user. We click here on their domains and we are going to select a-domain.xyz. 
and then we click on Update User. Primary email updated. Alex can now use alex at askitv.xyz as an alternate email address. Alex may not be able to use Google Chat for up to three days. And finally, you will see updates within 10 minutes. We can click on Done. If we go back to Manage Users again, we will see that email address for Alex is already alex at a-domain.xyz. It means that this user will need to sign in with this new email address from now on. The old email address has become an alias. If we click on the user and we click on user information, we can see under alternate email addresses that we have Alex at askitb.xyz. However, his primary email address is alex at a-domain.xyz. So we have already successfully changed the primary domain name for this user. And we can continue updating users to have the new email address with the new primary domain name. We will go back again to users and we will now rename our own email address. We have to be careful at this point. As soon as we update our email address, we are going to be signed out automatically. We will need to sign in again with our new email address. We click on my user and then I click on update user. I'm going to change the domain name to a-domain.xyz. Then I click on update user. Then I click on done. After we have updated all users' email addresses, we may also need to rename groups. We can go to groups. As an example, we are going to click on control, which is one of our groups. And we will find this section here, group information. Then we click on the little pencil to edit. And here we will find the option to change the domain name. And we can select the new primary domain name. Then we click on save. Then we have changed the group email address. The new email address is now control at a-domain.xyz. The last step, which is optional, is removing the old domain name. We can move to home. We find the section domains. We click on manage domains. Here we will find our old domain name and we can click on remove. As we said before, we are not interested in doing that. Since we are just rebranding our company, we want to continue receiving emails in both domain names, the new, the primary domain, and the old one, which is now a secondary domain. After completing these steps, all users will need to log in with their new email address. I mean, their email address with their new domain name. If users try to log in with their old email address, they won't be able to access their Google account. Users will be able to receive emails when anyone write to their new and also to their old email address. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please give a thumbs up. If you have any comment or questions, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find it easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you and I hope to see you next time.